What's up, YouTube? It's your main man, man. I'm back at Palomelo State Armory. I had to get some uh, headgear so I could do the video today with the AR pistol because you need headgear when you're shooting this thing, trust me. So anyway, yeah, hope I don't get no copyright music. Hello. Good. I'm okay. Didn't see that the first time. Got some ammo stuff like that. But I really came in here looking for some hair gear. I think they fortified and stocked up on ammo and stuff. Cause there wasn't this much stuff here the last time. There's a whole bunch of stuff. But what I came here for was the hair gear. Because that L15 will blow your ears out if you don't put some of this stuff on. Hmm. I like these. And they run all the way up to a buck 69. Take them. They got Bluetooth. I might end up grabbing these. That's them. I just really need something to cover my ears up, man, because. Shoot that thing without amputation on it. You go into the hospital. <laughs> you go to the hospital, but <clears throat> you know some people. Everybody go off of things differently. Oh, girls and oh, they got a whole set. Look at that. I didn't see this before, and it's less reaction. Shoot a muffin glass combo, and they got one for the girls. Girls with guns. But yeah. 336 DB. Oh, these got different sound ratings. Let's see what the back of this pack. So these is the uh, glasses. High velocity impact resistance, anti-scratch. They wrap around the frame. Non-slip rubber nose piece. See that? Hmm, it got that. You can see the non-stick rubber. What else? Must 26 DB. Now these ones got 36, and I'm ones that cause hundred dollars they have 26 so I think I'm safe with 22 and uh, they fall down for transportation low profile cups as long as they fit and work we rocking with them there used to be a case with steel mags in it right here but it's gone this is where the pistols was at pistol uh, not pistols tripping P mags and there was some steel mags right there but they gone from the last vlog, which will be linked down in the description if you want to see it. And Palomelo State Armory, it's gone. I asked about these Benchmade, that's what they call people, call them in the comments, Benchmade knives in the last video. And people said uh, it was the craftsmanship, like I asked. So yeah, that's the deal with these. You can pay for a 24 knife. And uh, it's pretty much just craftsmanship. And somebody said you can pass them down from generation to generation. So yeah, in fact, I'm back at the target thing, looking at different targets and stuff, and uh, probably gonna go with this one. Yeah. Plus I just picked it up and realized that it come with three targets. So yeah, it's probably this, SBM4. This was the tactical brace that I was gonna put on the pistol if I got a brace, but I didn't want a brace. I like just a little stick sticking out the back. But yeah, this have been dope. It's a fold on for the K. Got this for the 16. That's the SBA3. And uh, that's the SBM4 right there. It's dope. It looked like some uh, some it government issue because of how it is at the top. Kind of in this area. I know the, uh, the mill spec stocks have those, I think. It's a bunch of gun kit stuff right here. Oh. But it's, yeah. They got cleaning kits for all calibers. 10 million and 40. But it's dope, man. 22 and larger. Really interested in the detail cleaning for your gun. It's all kind of stuff over here. Precise rifle cleaning kit, you know. Stuff like that. Oil is little kits. All kind of crazy stuff. It's an elite kit down there. The last time I came here, I didn't see those ARs down there. 
But that tan one, I don't know what that camo called. I like that camo. It look like a, some kind of sight. Like an A cog a little bit on that one. Yeah, man. Look at that. And I wasn't throwing dirt on the uh, the hunting scopes in that other video, but hey, man, I got love for hunting scopes. Buddy said, uh, you really appreciate a hunting scope when you're trying to hit a target. That's 800 feet out and stuff. 600 feet out. He said, you would love to have one of these scopes. So, yeah. And I seen something like this similar on the 44 Magnum before. I don't know if those bullets go that far. I'm going to check when I get home, just because I thought of it just now, but yeah, I seen the similar scope on a 44. So I'm like, one of these, right? I think. But that was dope. It's an ETS. <laughs> I'm gonna have to grab one, because I forgot last time I was here. If you check that out the vlog, just link down below. But a couple magazine, AR-15, 30 round, y'all already know. All the other stuff that was down here gone. I don't think it was this out. They still got an automatic loader, but it used to be more. They was posted in here. And I see the D60. This gonna be my next girl. That's about 29. Can't grab that right now. Yeah. F is mechanics, man. I sold on a lot of time. All the berettas. I like berettas to the top open all the way up. Never told a beretta. Never will tow the beretta. And uh yeah, I like it. I like it. Man. Go ahead and what's that? Oh that's the EEA. Same folio. That's dope too. Welcome to Palmetto State Armory. We are proud to be American made. That's the TARS. It's a clean one too. TARS made some really nice looking guns. Plus they got that GX4 that just came out. Why oh, the Palmetto State got that in here? I doubt it. What's that? Nah, that's not it. That's dope though. Boom, boom. All these shotguns, 12 gauges. That's dope. Who made these again? Caltech. I think Caltech make these. I'm not sure. Oh, no, nah, that's Black of Ace. It's Black Aces. I said Black of Ace. That's Black Aces. Caltech makes something similar. But I think Caltech got triple barrels or something. I think this is Caltech. I think that's Caltech. Well, with a triple barrel. I think that's a Caltech. I ain't sure. K, okay, I thought the Caltech was the KSG. I don't know. I think the Glock that I'm about to build is gonna be a similar size to one of these. It's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be like a nine or something. It's definitely gonna be a nine, but it's gonna be a single stack, something similar to one of these, man. and it's gonna be dope. It's gonna have cuts in it like this one, but not exactly like that one. But I'm gonna put some. Uh, you already know about the build if you've seen my video, Up and Coming Builds for 2021. Go well, check it out. If you ain't seen it yet, watch out. Guns, 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 guns. Small guns and big beams. That's the handle caps. That's dope. Highest capacity per cubic inch. This is one of the best looking SIGs I've ever seen. It's the P210. It look real nice. It's a nine. It's definitely the best sig I've ever seen. And this P365 is dope. It's dope. <laughs> this is wild. I like these little baby clocks too. They just scream and carry every day. No reason not to it. That's dope. This one caught my eye though. It's a pink one. It's dope. It's a lot of glass, man. How you doing? Good. Good. These are always gonna be dope because the people that stand behind them like to customize them so much. So the manufacturers send them out, kind of custom looking out. One of the best guns in the store. I couldn't help myself when I seen these. This is, 
the, the video is gonna do this gun justice. It's so big. <laughs> it's the Python 357. But man, man, man. I'm definitely gonna own one of these someday, someday. Guaranteed. AR-15 is everywhere. They don't stop. It's a non-stop run of just pure AR-15. Every, all the wall. Not a special AR. I'll most definitely feature it on the channel if you built it. But yeah, it's dope. Already assembled Lawrence case you want to get an upper of your choice. Or if you want to assemble it, some script ones. Some parts, a bolt carrier. That's not nickel boron. Pay attention to my thumbnail on my other video. It's nickel boron. Got a little parts kit up here already. In case you want to come through, you're looking for something in particular. Yeah. A few more already assembled lords. Some pistols. AR9. Pistol lords. What else? Pretty much. If you ever looking for any random part, I should have came here instead of ordering online. I would have probably got it faster. I'm missing all these parts, but now I know exactly where to come. See, I lost a plunger for for my bolt release on the first build. That that, that first rifle is just bad luck. They didn't have a plunger. Yeah, on YouTube, I'd watch yeah. Your channel, appreciate it, appreciate it. Keep doing your thing, but for sure. Just ran into somebody who saw my channel, but I'm on my way going to the front checkout now. And this is what I made off with. I got some air and eye protection because you know safety first. Rated at. As long as it works, it's fine. I got this ETS 30 round. Yeah, so you can see my rounds. I, I fixed the pipe earlier, so it's some pipe glue on my hands. They're not in the best condition, but hey, I do stuff. And it's and it's a uh, target. Of course, I'm gonna use this target. Large round, five, five, six, and better. Two, two, three, and better. That's what I grabbed. So, time to check out Palomero State. They got the female Palomero State arm stickers. They had these the last time. Mm -hmm. I feel like one of those kids that's just leaving the mall. Well, I got my Palmetto State bag, man. I'm about to go get ready to make my AR pistol shooting videos and stuff. And uh, pretty much, I don't know, man. Anyway, another Palmetto State Armory vlog. It's your main man, Maine. Take it easy.